everyone. How are you? I hope you're well. Today we're going to the Isle of Arran, which is called Scotland in miniature because it gives an idea of the whole Scotland. I'm really excited. I didn't know whether to wear the shoes that I'm wearing or the boots that I'll show you now, but I think I will keep this because I'm afraid the other one would give me blisters. I would like to hike and I hope it's not too muddy. Ready, steady, go. Let's go. <laughs> this really nice wooden path on the beach you can really tell tomorrow it's sister because the ferry was packed with people and dogs oh my gosh like the toilet for women is beside the dog area so every time i go to the toilet there's all these doggies they're so beautiful i'm not feeling cold at the moment and i'm just really really excited i hadn't seen that many people on the iron ferry in a long time When I arrived in Brodick Harbour, there were two vans of the Ohrani Resort, which is my favorite resort on the Isle of Arran, and also the biggest resort. Yeah, it's beautiful because you've got a spa, uh, three restaurants, and it's just a beautiful place, really. I'm always afraid there's someone listening to me, or like turning a corner and there's me talking alone. But I'm not talking by myself, I'm talking with you. Oh my god, how the hell do you open this? <laughs> I'm not able. Oh, oh yeah, maybe. Oh. a hot day unfortunately i paid eight pounds to visit the grounds of the castle i'm not going in
that's the Gotfell, the tallest peak of Aran. As you can see, there are some clouds up there. I would like to get up there today, but I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't rain. It should be just cloudy today, according to the weather forecast. First, I'll get to the little bridge that there is uh, halfway. I'll have my lunch and then we'll see how I feel from there. There's not a lot of people today, but there is still some people. I mean, that is good because it's never safe to go to the mountains by yourself. So I'm glad to see other people also because tomorrow it's Easter. So many people are on holiday. That's also why I chose to come here today because I know I wouldn't have been alone. sandwich I've got my favorite one like I went to Brody Castle only to buy this <laughs> I didn't go to the top. Yeah, it would have been really silly of me. Need to be careful, especially because I'm hiking alone. Oh, so yeah, exactly. I'll just go and I'd like to try Aran Botanicals, the Botanicals, something like that, for a nice gin and tonic <laughs> to end my day. After all, it's Saturday night, you know. That way, there's Northern Ireland, and that way, there's the UK, the mainland. I just feel tomorrow I won't be able to walk, but we'll see. Really don't know what to have now. I wish I could do a poll. Beer, scones and tea, or gin tonic. You vote. You can really see that some sheep have been this way. <laughs> there you go. Some free wool for you. Oh my god. There is a lamb who just woke up. And he's there all alone. All the other are there. There is a sheep there. It must be its mum. Now I'm relieved. Yeah. How beautiful is this place? I'm going back to the castle grounds. Actually, I'm already 
walking on the castle grounds because I paid eight pounds so I might as well use my ticket you know I'm going back to the squirrel hat earlier it was full of people so I didn't really like staying in there I hope now it will be nice and empty just for me great i had been here twice already and i never saw the red squirrel and this time i finally made it like i've been in there for 40 minutes <laughs> but i wasn't bored at all like it was so relaxing to be in the middle of the woods in silence and you know being quiet paid out because then uh, they they arrived and they are so like they like to eat <laughs> there was this one who went on eating for about 20 minutes I think I don't know how they can jump from one tree to the other if they eat so much you know <laughs> oh, I'm happy the Sun came out finally like at the end of the day when I'm going back home, then the sun comes out, you know? Scotland is just amazing for kids. Look at this. It's so fun. Like, I would love to go myself. Like, the most cherished memories I have from Scotland were, like, in these great adventure parks and playgrounds. So if you love nature and you have kids, I would definitely recommend choosing Scotland as a destination. actually checking to see if I had 20 pounds with Brody Castle but I don't but I do have the 10 pounds with Glenfinnan Viaduct that is the Harry Potter's bridge and so yeah that's next time I will bring you there sooner or later we'll go have a nice glass of something I didn't have the uh, tea or uh, beer so here we are
I finally made it back home. I'm utterly, completely, totally knackered. I'm so happy of the day. It was absolutely wonderful. I actually walked 27 kilometers. I don't really know when I last walked this long in my life. The best thing about this kind of days is when you get back home, have a warm shower, which is what I'm going to do now. Put your pajamas on, then lie on the sofa and watch your favorite show. I really can't wait. And I know I just wanted to tell you two things. Uh, so I was, you saw, I went to have a gin tonic at Aran Botanicals, which is really nice. You, you should go if you go to Aran. So I ordered a gin tonic because it was the classical uh, drink of the place. So I thought, why not? And then a waitress comes uh, and stands beside me and she goes, uh, how are you? Is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, thank you. And she just laughs in my face. So I say, oh, why are you laughing? And she says, no, no, I'm just... And then she couldn't like refrain from telling me. She said, it's just you alone uh, by yourself having a gin tonic, it must have been a really tough day <laughs> and she kept on laughing and I just didn't know what to reply I, and I said, yeah, it's because, you know, I was, I almost reached the top of the Godfell but then it was too windy so I came down so I'm really disappointed and she said, oh, I see, so this is a consolation drink and I find it really, really funny and then something else on the ferry back I had mac and cheese and chips and they were so good and I only spent five pounds or something for a huge plate, it was great and as soon as I sat by the table I was like checking my water bottle uh, like to check how much water I had left and there was the waiter and cashier who looked at me and he arrived by the table and he went like like this and so I was like, what? And he said, yeah, give it to me. I saw you were like looking how much water you had left. So I will fill it up for you. And I mean, people are so nice. It's, it's really nice when you go to places by yourself and people are not as afraid to approach you. Of course, it's nice when they approach you in a nice way and they don't annoy you. But I must say I've been quite lucky so far. Yeah, because you're by yourself, so they try to chat and yeah, I'm just really happy. Bye guys!